It's Halloween and time for some spooky fun. So I'm going to be drawing a well-known animated character in the style of Tim Burton. Tim Burton. He's a director, a producer, a storyboard artist, an animator, and a design consultant. He's pretty much done it all. And along the way, he's developed his own style of characters. They have these amusing, exaggerated features and a little bit of the macabre. Sometimes a lot of the macabre. He's highly influenced by German Expressionism. And he's responsible for such things as uh, Beetlejuice, Edward Scissorhands, The Nightmare Before Christmas, The Corpse Bride, to name a few. So I've decided to take Woody and Slinky Dog from Toy Story and draw them in this Tim Burton style. Okay, Woody, are you ready? Oh, don't be sad. This is going to be fun. Tim Burton's characters are known for their exaggerated features, especially the very large eyes. Often these eyes will be heavily shadowed or have very heavy eyelids. There's a whole juxtaposition that happens with the features. So if the eyes are very large, then the mouth and the chin are usually very small. Once I'm happy with the rough sketch that I've done of the character, the lines are really messy, so I pull out the light box and I do the inking by tracing my drawing. I'm using Victor from The Corpse Bride as inspiration for Woody, and I'm using the dog from Frankenweenie as the inspiration for Slinky Dog. After adding in a few more details, it's time for some color. Woody is colored with primary colors, but Tim Burton uses muted tones. So in order to achieve that, I start by putting in layers of warm gray. Then I'll add in other colors and blend them in with the grays. Woody's body is already long and slender, so I just made it a little bit thinner. <laughs> Playing with proportions, I kept the buttons on his shirt really large, but made his sheriff star really tiny. Trying to pick up on some other Tim Burton trademarks, I added bold stripes to the hat band and angular curls to the tops of the boots. For Slinky Dog, I do the same thing I did with Woody. I start with warm gray tones and then put the brighter colors on top of that.
You can support my channel by subscribing so YouTube will share my videos with more people. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you ring that bell, you'll be notified every time I post a video. Thank you for watching.